Somebody said, started my Shopify store, Train. So shout out to Train. Main shout barrier. Train. Train. My main barrier is marketing to get people interested in my brand and purchasing. So main barrier is marketing to get people interested in my brand. Um, so that's his question. Marketing is. So this is kind of like the question where you were like, hey, I launched my website, got 300 visits. It didn't sell. So I think I think a lot of times when somebody drops a website, right? We you drop something, you've been working at it, you're so passionate about it, and now you got to get people to the site, right? And I actually we we have this conversation all the time with people that come in the office, influencers of all sizes. Um, a lot of times they're like, "Yo, I heard that this person, you know, he had 20 million followers, dropped a line and sold out." Like that's what everybody is looking at when it comes to performance, right? But then if we can do the numbers, right, if we actually do the numbers, 20 million people that they, that they have actively following, let's say, let's make the numbers really easy, and let's just say that they made, that there was 10,000 clicks to the website, right? A good website should convert anywhere between 2 to 5% on the high end, regardless of what kind of traffic. I mean, there's some sites that convert higher than that, but on average, 2 to 5% on the highest, you're doing really well. 2% is pretty average. Anything under that... You're kind of on the low end of things. You got to change something up. But let's do the numbers real quick. You get 10,000 people to to actually visit your site, right? And now you have, let's just say it's a 3% conversion. You got 300 people purchasing a product. And let's just say that they purchase an average order cart, which means that they checked out and maybe bought two products. That brings it to $90, to, to $90 per sale. So 300 purchases and $90 a sale. You made 27000 on that first drop, right? That's where you see some of these successes and it's like, yo, I made 30 grand in a day is because they had the opportunity, to, they, they, they had the platform and community to flood traffic to the site. It was, it was, a, uh, it was a community and it was, a, it was an audience that was interested in the message that that person had to share. Yeah. And this is where, again, it comes full circle. What are you deeply passionate about that you can talk about, that you can post about, that you can share in multiple facets? Because when you can do that, you start to build a community of people that are really vibing with it, that are like liking your, that are comment, that are actually in interacting with your content, not necessarily just with a product. So sometimes when people launch a brand, they're like, yo, I posted all my stuff. I followed all these different things that everyone's saying I should do. Like I did this kind of reel. I did this and this. But you failed to actually build an audience that cared about what the message was. And it's okay that you did that because you didn't understand that you needed to actually build a community that stood around an, a, a something, something that was greater than just your product and just your designs. When you can do that, that's when people are really captivated, right? Like for me with this, uh, with, with, with this brand for kids that is financial literacy, like that's something as a father, I have a son. And it's like if I'm going to buy him a shirt from, from one of these stores, why not buy it from a small business owner that's, that's driving a message? And if that product can come with something that I can, that I can speak about to my son, like even better. I'm going to keep buying new products because I love it because it stands for what I also want to teach my son. Yeah, right? it creates a memory, creates something, a something more valuable than what <clears throat> Oshkosh Bagash can bring you you know what it, i mean you're like gosh gosh is just oh i let my son flex but now you, you get the legacy kids and you're like oh the whole everything that goes into it now you're showing your nephews and everything and it like mm -hmm. spider webs yes it's it's a, it's a real conversation you can have with people so start there if you're if you're having issues marketing to bring traffic to your site have you built up a community of people that is that is really rallying around a message that you're deeply passionate about that you could potentially become the best in the world at and then the economic engine of sales will come right but you could you have to have an idea for how you're going to monetize that okay so that's why the three circles that we showed earlier are key for you to reflect and for everybody that's starting to watch this video is do you have what it takes to start a clothing brand this this model here will point you in the right direction as to what things you should be looking into. So create a bullet list for each of these three circles, what you're deeply passionate about. Go back to your parents, to your mom, to your brother, to your sister, to your siblings that you may or may not talk to anymore because you started entrepreneurship journey. Um, go back to them and say, I need your help, and I need you to help me answer this. And, and it's not a scam. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not a scam. I'm not going to bring you into uh, MLM. Shout out to all my MLM entrepreneurs out there. 
Nothing against you. <laughs> Sell this fit tea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so start there. Ask questions to people that know you, that have known you for a while, and then your coworkers that know your skill sets. And then the economic engine, you need advisors to, to, to run your plan, to run s- different ways you can monetize this. 